Good morning, everybody. We're here to dye up some sheets for you. They've been soaking in our soda ash, our sodium carbonate for the last 30 minutes. We're gonna try to twist them up and put some color on them. Come along for the ride. Shall be interesting. Uh, never done one this big. We got a full uh, flat and a fitted. I think we're gonna just do the flat or is that the fitted? Which one is that? The flat. That's the flat. So we're just gonna do the flat right now and then we're gonna do the fitted in a different color scape. It'll probably be a different video. These will not be for sale. These are personals going on our bed set at home. If you like it, we can make you one just like it. A lot, of, a lot of real estate to ring out there, isn't it? You know you're ringing it onto itself, right? I mean, it's gonna drag all over the ground. It's already yeah. a mess, so. I already know. I wanted to take the middle out of this, but she did not want to, so here we are. so gargantuan. Finding the middle is going to be the real uh, fun part here. You're just going to pick a spot and go? Yeah. Okay. Go. Yeah, that was good. Go for it. In the future, we'll probably center them, but this one here. This is just the first time. Yep. We're just trying to see how much dye we need to pour into it. Things like that. There, believe it or not, there's intricacies when dyeing different things, especially things of this size. So we've done some larger stuff before, but never a queen uh, sheet set. I think we've done a, a full or a twin, but we've never done one this big. This is huge. We've got all our giant bottles filled up. We're going to do the flat and the fitted in two different color scapes. So. I was wondering how the bands were going to work on this. <laughs> Would we need our bigger? We have some bigger bands if we had to have them. But looks like these are going to work. We do plan to do many more sheet sets. This is just the first of many. So, we even already have another sheet set that we've yet to dye. Okay. Cut to the dyeing rack. Babysitting options were out of the question, and we have very, very tight work schedules. So if this didn't happen today, it wasn't gonna happen. And usually in these scenarios, we'll just, you know, die and not film, but we figured we'd give this a shot since we're trying new things today. Why not let her sit out here with us and, and die with us? So she does enjoy being out here with us. Very much so. Yeah, those are those are happy screams you're hearing, <laughs> for sure. As odd as that may be, they are in fact happy screams. <clears throat> Okay. 
looking good. So we got hot pink, orange sorbet. Up next, some golden yellow. And you know, make sure you, you're gonna wanna saturate this thing well. From the sheet sets we've done before, we know that it requires heavy saturation. So we're trying to get it well, well saturated. And it's not so much that, I mean, you do have to use a lot of liquid, but that's not really the key. The key is to, to mostly to pour a lot of liquid into it, not just onto it. Lime pop. If you notice the way that she rolled it up there, there's almost like little troughs for the dye to fall into. That's kind of what you want have to do on something this large. You have to create like ripples almost to hold the dye so that it will soak all the way through. Otherwise, you won't get full coverage. Oh no. We got another line popped out, don't we? Yeah. Oh yeah. I made one. We're, we're well prepared for this one, people. We won't be stopping to mix any dyes. Turquoise, ooh. Yeah, turquoise. And then when we do the flat, or the fitted, I mean, we're gonna do it in a different set of colors. A, a, a yeah. rainbow, but a different set of tones, right, yeah. yeah. So one will be neon, one will be essentially like pastel, right? Um, yeah. Kinda, yeah. We're using bubble gum for the pink in the other one, so I right. guess you could call it pastel. Bubble gum, glacier, you know. And granny turns out, granny apple green turns out pretty pastel too, in a way. It's definitely a soft tone. Look at that. That is a beautiful specimen of color there, if I do say so myself. I believe this sheet set's made by Better Homes and Gardens. We got it at Walmart. Yep, came from the Wally world. It's the good one though. You, you definitely, you don't want to buy the cheapest one they got when you're doing this. You want a good, nice, high thread count, too. Well, if you want it to feel nice, it is. <laughs> Which most people do. Yeah. All right. <laughs> flop. Flip it over. <laughs> Flippity flop. That's a two-hander there, almost. Oh. Woo. Wow. Okay. Looks like a curling disc. Looks like a, a rainbow curling disc. That's I've about. I've never seen one of those in person. It's about the same size as a curling stone. It's pretty close. A little bit thinner, but about the same diameter. Yeah. Look at that. Now we want our deep orange. Deep orange. Hold on, where are those flags? Okay. So keep in mind, this isn't the last thing we're ever going to tie down with deep orange. So. I don't want to open them up too much. You want to have some fine control still when dyeing smaller stuff. We've got another set of bottles on the way. When, when all is said and done, we'll probably just have a sheet set and a, uh, you know, t-shirt set. These bottles leak really bad. Yeah, I don't know where that one came from. That um, We didn't buy that. In. Yeah, no, I did. Uh -oh. It just wasn't for tie-dyeing. Ah, uh, so we already had that one for something. And yeah, they're terrible. I don't know where they came from, but they're terrible. They are terrible. 
be honest, they're really the only bad bottles we've gotten. Uh, the bottles like that we use with our tie-dye kits, we didn't get them from Dharma. I took a chance on them, and they turned out to be really good. We use them all the time ourselves now. Like That's where we get our bottles from now. Uh, and most of the ones you see here right now, because they're all 8 ounce, so most of the ones you see out here right now came from Dharma, and they're all great. We never had any issues. People always ask, where do we get our dye? We get it from Dharma Trading Company. They're great. Yep. Really good people. Especially because, like, as we've grown, uh, they've been able to, to meet our supply needs even during times of crisis. They are always, you know, let us know when they restock, things of that nature. Let us pre-order. Splash and laugh, too. Well, Lavender's what I'm trying to get out. No, 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 I mean right, right there where that orange hit. You want to splash a laugh. Just don't squeeze it very hard. Yeah. Look at there. That looks so good. Okay. You're going to have to hold the rag. I follow me. figured. Or the, yeah. Okay. Let's, Let's go. go. <laughs> oh my god, this thing is so big. Let's go middle, middle with it, don't you think? Okay, sure. Yeah. Middle shelf where it will sit for the next wow. 24 hours until we're ready to rinse it on out. Alrighty folks, y'all have a wonderful day. We will see y'all tomorrow.